I think the most important thing the center did for me while waiting for the divorce to happen was to keep me on that track, to keep reminding me what I had said the week before, what I had said two weeks before, or the handouts, so that I knew that I was going in the right direction because I was never really sure about that because I had no self-esteem or, or courage left because I'd been beaten down so much. At some point during the argument, he grabbed my shirt and pulled it up around my neck and was literally choking me with it. The next thing that I remember is waking up on the floor and feeling teeth in my mouth and tasting blood in my mouth. The very next day, I went down to the courthouse and I spoke to the victim's advocates there and they put me in touch with the Family Justice Center. The hardest thing for an abused person to do is reach out and ask for help. Understanding how important it is for a victim of abuse to find everything that they need in one place or under one roof has really been an educational experience. The work that I do with the center sensitizes me each and every day to the magnitude of this problem. It's taken us many years to develop collaborative relationships. We have very good relationships with our police departments. They don't see anything wrong with it and they don't realize that they are in fact in an abusive situation. It's important for them to know the signs and stop the cycle for their sake, for their children's sake, for their grandchildren's sake. My kids now, it's a whole different uh, world for them. Whole different world, they, I see more smiles. With the 85 current Family Justice Centers has proven that there's a decrease in homicide, that victims of abuse are not going through the judicial system seven to 10 times, that they are healing much quicker, they are becoming self-sufficient, and most importantly, they are not losing their lives to abuse. And I was really amazed at everything that's available. I was completely unaware and very impressed. In addition to working with organizations like the Council of Churches who provide the spirituality component, no matter what your religion is, so that people can find some peace, while they're going through their journey of healing. Let people know you can go to one place and get all the help that you need. The police are there, the prosecutors are there, the advocates are there. If you're having trouble with housing, there's a safe house. We're working on transitional housing with one of our partners. Um, I, it's, just, it's just a tremendous, tremendous project and it's very, very exciting that Connecticut will have a family justice center. Well, I'll tell you that when I came back from the courthouse from my divorce, I pulled down the street and there in front of my house was a handmade sign by my three kids that said, we are so proud of you, Mom. That's all I needed. Wanna see those roses more than anything But I guess it's gonna take another spring And it's It's probably gonna take another spring.